Good evening viewers of North East Aid, this is a weekly run-up bulletin. On Monday, Indian cricket team led by Rohit Sharma won against England by 100 runs in the ICC World Cup 2023. Rohit Sharma scored 87 runs of 101 balls, helping India reach 221 of 9, of which England struggled against India's bowling. India now tops the table with 14 points, while England is at the bottom with just 2 points. Current chart ranking is topped by India, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka, Netherlands, Bangladesh, and England. The final match of the World Cup is set for November 19, 2023. On Tuesday, Naga National Council and Federal Government of Nagaland resolved to protect Naga territorial boundaries. They also committed to abiding by the Yezabo of Nagaland and the Lakuti Resolution of NNC from 1955. The meeting reaffirmed Nagaland's declaration of independence in 1947 and the 1951 plebiscite for a sovereign state. On Wednesday, the Ministry of Railways, in partnership with IRCTC Limited, announced the launch of the Northeast Discovery Tour, which aims to promote the lesser explored northeastern states of India. The Bharat Gaurav Deluxe AC Tourist Train will depart from Dalhi Safdarjan Railway Station on November 16, 2023. The 15-day tour will cover various destinations in Assam, Tripura, Nagaland, and Meghalaya. The train offers modern amenities, including dining cars, flameless kitchen, shower, cubicles, and more with enhanced security features and security guards in place. The first stop is planned for Guwahati with visits to Kamakya Temple, Umananda Temple, and the Brahmaputra River Sunset Cruise. On Thursday, the principal of Tetso College, Dr. Hewasa L. King, and Professor Dr. Jilvan Muller D. Oliveira inaugurated the Northeast India Indigenous Peoples Archive, NIPA. NIPA is a non-profit online repository aimed at preserving the culture of indigenous communities in Northeast India. This project encourages contributions from the public in the form of audio and visuals to enrich the cultural heritage. This initiative is led by Dr. Wichan Dimbo Mataina and supported by other members from Tetsu College as a convener. NIPA's vision is to provide cultural and historical content from Northeast India to a global audience, promoting research studies, one of the first in Nagaland. NIPA project, which started in early of 2023, is brought by the efforts of six individuals of different capacities in Tetsu College, led by Dr. Wichan Dimbo Mataina as convener, who has an experience of over a decade and a notable mention could be of documentary on Liang Mai language owned by the University of North Texas. He also serves as assistant professor at the Department of Linguistics. Other members include Mr. Toka Visu, member technical NIPA, also founder and CEO of a startup company called Snapgraph Media based in Dimapur. He serves as assistant professor at the Department of Mass Communication. Ms. Sakamla Yimchunger, member NIPA, assistant professor at the Department of Mass Communication. Mr. Abigyan Gogoy, member technical NIPA. Mr. Inglangba, member technical NIPA, who serves as junior executive at IT and Media Department Tetsu College. and. Dr. Opayang Lakketru, member NIPA, whose research area includes bio or multilingualism, cognitive linguistics, and language and culture. She currently serves as assistant professor in the Department of Linguistics. The NIPA project was launched during the inaugural of the Listener Naglan, a festival of orality with Professor Dr. Gilvan Muller D. Olivera, UNESCO head on policies of multilingualism, as a keynote speaker, which saw deliberation and held discussion hours over three days at the college premise. Dr. Olivera emphasized the role of orality in preserving cultural identity and stressed the importance of scientific discourse. He highlighted the significance of intangible cultural heritage in promoting peace through diverse cultural preservation. Advisor for Law and Justice T. N. Manan discussed the importance of preserving elder community members' knowledge, while Commissioner and Secretary of Art and Culture Ethel Olota IAS stress the significance of preserving intangible heritage in Northeast India. On Friday, the Mapur District Administration issued show cause notices to 12 encroachers affecting drainage systems. The move comes after instructions from Jalio Rio, advisor to Municipal Affairs and Urban Development, to remove unauthorized encroachments. The district administration is pursuing eviction but has not finalized a date for it. Some parties have sought time to remove structures blocking water flow. A meeting has been held simultaneously to plan eviction procedures. Also, Naga Council Dimapur urged DC Dimapur and DMC to implement the advices of Jaleo Rio. 
NCD called for the removal of illegal structures, development of systematic vehicle parking, standard footpaths for convenient pedestrian movement, while advocating for a well-engineered drainage system in Dimapur. The central government, meanwhile, announced a new scholarship scheme, especially for the northeastern region, where 80,000 rupees per year will be granted. Eligibility includes being from the economically weaker section of the northeastern region, pursuing an undergraduate degree. The notice also reads that only full-time undergraduate students can apply, whose parents' annual income should not exceed rupees 4.5 lakhs. Only first-timers undergoing fresh UG courses can apply. The governor of Nagaland, Laganesan, inaugurated the multi-level car parking at PR Hill, Kohima on Saturday with Chief Minister Nipirio. The governor emphasized the need for modern parking solutions to address Kohima's traffic and parking challenges. He held it as a step toward becoming a smart city and urged citizens to support systematic development. Nipurio expressed gratitude to the government of India for funding the project and thanked the governor for support. The parking facility covers 1,40,000 square feet with five floors, which boasts car parking for 180 cars along with security features. The project was completed in July 2023, marking significant progress in Kohima's infrastructure development. Presenting the technical report, the Kohima Smart City Development Limited CEO said the inauguration of the MLCP was a realization of a long-awaited dream of the people to have modern and smart parking solutions for the city and to ease the traffic congestion. On the same afternoon, the Union Minister of Housing, Urban Affairs and Petroleum and Natural Gas, Hardeep Singh Puri, inaugurated the multi-level car parking at NSD bus station. <laughs>